Right, so we're back. After the disastrous attempt that I had here with the um, Seekers, I thought I'd have a go today with the Bombarda floats. And the little paddle tails, just like I did in Portsmouth Harbour, because this is Langston Harbour. There seems to be a bit of floating weed around. And for the first time ever, I've got the GoPro on my head instead of on the chest. Because last time, all you could see was that bar. So it's two hours before high tide. And to be honest, I'm quite surprised how much water there is down there. So I've got two Bombarda floats. That's the old one that I was using at 40 grams and the new one at 20 grams. So I'm going to start off with the lighter one. I'm just going to put a bit of uh, fluorocarbon on for the hook leg. I've ordered a lot thinner fluorocarbon and that'll probably uh, be better. Mind you, I didn't have fluorocarbon on in Portsmouth Harbour. So I don't know if it'll make that much difference. I'm not going to have a long hook leg today. And I've got the uh, Bombarda trapped between two swivels. And another reason why I thought I'd um, use it today is because the Bombarda floats. And I've got a lot of uh, paddle tails and stuff here. Just keep going until we find something, if anything, that will catch a fish. But to start with, I'm going to use the ones that I had success in, Portsmouth Harbour, which is the obvious thing to do. These little white ones. And yes, Lola's here, eating a load of grass. So I'm wondering if I could just pull that, yeah, I can pull that over the knot, so that hides the knot up as well. And I'm just looking to see where, oh uh, yeah. So I've got a little, 
I've got a short length of fluorocarbon as a rubbing leader. Which is where? Yes, yeah, there. Right. Okay, that didn't go far. Never mind. Why didn't that go far? Don't know. This time, let's put the um, bombarder a bit closer. That's better. That still didn't go very far. My you, it's only 20 grams, isn't it? Whereas the other one is 40 grams. And that's the difference. I think I will try the 40 grams. I mean, this is fine. But to be honest, especially as it's a couple of hours before high tide, I could do with getting some distance on it. Just have a couple of more casts. Yeah, still not getting far out. So I will. I'll change it. To the heavier one. Let's see if that casts better now. Or further, should I say. No, you're showing too much interest in it. And that'll be a yes then. That casts a lot further, that one. So I'm doing three wides and a pause to let the paddle tail go down. Because obviously the paddle tail hasn't got enough, hasn't got as much movement as the seekers. At least today, at the moment, the reel and rod combination are working. So the knot's working wherever I, I, I had my... What was that? That was a bit of seaweed, I think. The, the knot's working where I had my um, rubbing leader. Where is the float gone? Really? The float's gone. What's happened there? Well, blow me if the knot between the um, main line and the rubbing leader has gone. That is disappointing. 
Right. So the robin leader. We're going straight onto the swivel, which is all we can do. Actually, I've got my, my fluorocarbon, so I could do a robin leader. But like I said last time, no need to here. That says something about my knot tying. I think that was that FG knot I tied. I wasn't happy with it. So in future, I think I'll stick to the old um, Albright knots. Because those, they work fine on the flies and fly lines. I've used them for years. Why is it always something happens when I go out? I said that last time. Is it my autism or is it me? Or is it fishing? So let me know if you like the head shots better than the chest shots. Because this time, nothing's getting in the way. My, not my fat hands, nor the railings. But the only trouble is, you'll only see what I'm looking at. So when I move my head, the view's gonna change. Right. Let's put that over there. Willy! Do you know what? That almost went as far as the um, the heavier flow anyway. Just to say, I've been fishing for half an hour and absolutely no problems. There's a bloke fishing over there by the bridge. And the tide is still coming in. So me and Lola, we're walking all the way along this wall and I'm still fishing. Haven't had a single bite. I don't know how far we're going to walk down. Come on, Lola. So it's your fault. Because as far as we walk down, we've got to walk back to the car. I'm not very novel to the dog, but it'd be quite pleasant coming along here, fishing without her. Because it's a bit difficult with her on my arm. So I've made it as far as the first corner and I'm opposite Kendall's, which is the um, sand and ballast place or the, washing, the stone washing place. On another day, I think I'll go right down there, but not today. There comes another fisherman. A like-minded soul! Uh, this is the first time I've fished down here. Oh, yeah. Down I just walked down, down here. I've been here for 10 minutes. Oh, okay. Do you normally fish here? Yeah, quite a bit. Yeah, but I have this year anyway. Yeah? Is that Oyster Island? No, that's further around. Oh, right, okay. Where are you going to go fishing? Uh, I'll, I'll go further around. I don't know if there's a lot of wood to get down there. Yes? Yeah, 
Okay. I'll come down for a couple of hours. It's a bit nervous today. What are you using? Either soft plastic or hard wood. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's different, it's different really, so. yeah, but I've got a bombarder on right. with a a small paddle tail. Oh, okay. I caught something in Portsmouth Harbour on it. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Do you think there's anything around here? Is it better around there? I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure where they want to come. I've seen other people that when the tide's right, they walk down across there. Oh, right, okay. Yes, yeah. I mean, there's weed down here at the end of the day. So yes, yeah. Yeah, well, that's what I was thinking. I live over there um, on the eastern road. And people normally fish on that spit there. Yes. 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 Oh right, I'm the autistic angler. Oh, you are. Yeah. Uh, okay. that's, that's you. I've seen that. Have you? Yeah. Oh right. <laughs> Thank you. Good luck to you too. That was nice then, talking to somebody who knows what they're doing. Like I say, I just thought I'd come and try it. But he was saying from that bit of wood further, which is not where I'm going now. Because we didn't plan this. Okay, so I've just, he just got me thinking. So that is a spit of land there. So you would think that they'd come into this little bay. Maybe they're just not eating. But he seems to know what he's doing. So uh, I think I'll have a couple more chucks. Then I'll think about heading back. So I guess he's um, fishing the tide. The high tide for a couple of hours then. I have heard in the past about people who learn a log here. Over there is Langston Bridge, go to Haley Island. Yep. The tide and the wind's taking my lure in there. This bit of land is quite a big bit of land. Like I say, I've never been out here.
Time to head back a bit, Lola. Right, we've come back to where we started. And it's currently high tide, as you can see from these concrete, um, whatever they're called. All right, that'll do for today. So, sorry it's another blank. But from me and Lola then, that's me done.